The Taal Volcano Protected Landscape is one of the most iconic destinations to represent Philippine ecotourism. Anchored to the enthralling view of Taal Volcano in the province of Batangas, it is an eco-corridor teeming with unique life hidden within its tranquil scene. Whether visiting to relax or taking on a quick adventure, Taal Volcano is among the key ecotourism destinations in southern Luzon. In a recent study of its tourism plan, it receives close to a million tourists yearly, a number that is expected to rise as the destination gains traction among its foreign visitors. If you're heading here, you'll most likely pass through the South Luzon Expressway that links Taal Lake via two main waypoints. The Star Tollway exiting either Tanawan City, Malvar, or Lipa City or the Santa Rosa Daytay Tourist Corridor. From here, enter through any of the 13 towns and two cities that surround the 650 square kilometer Taal Basin. Breathtaking. Taal Volcano from afar looks like a small series of islands in a huge lake. Enclosed all the way around by its towering mountain caldera, most guests forget that the volcano itself is the entire Taal Basin. But the draw of Taal Volcano and Lake goes beyond the hollow crater visible from afar. To truly get an experience of nature's majesty, you must be willing to take on an adventure deep to its heart. The boat rides on the lake can take visitors to the many sites within the basin, and a journey like this will most likely start on Volcano Island. Volcano Island, as its name suggests, is a small, active volcano in the middle of the country's third largest lake. Generating regular seismic activity, it ranks as the smallest of roughly 23 active volcanoes in the country. Spread over the landscape are 47 craters caused by multiple eruptions. Some are found on the islands, while others are hidden beneath the lake. It is the 1965 and the 1911 that are the most accessible. An eco-trek along several paths to various volcanic summits provide a rare educational adventure for visitors. Please keep in mind that the precarious nature of any active volcano calls for guests to remain alert and vigilant throughout their visit. On Volcano Island, the first stop will always be in one of the tourist reception centers. The one in Sicho Tiblang, in Talisay Town, is currently operational and is the most common entry point. After a compulsory listing in the guest registry, you can inquire through the tourism officer about standard rates, other activities, as well as bring up other concerns you may have. From here, take a 45-minute trek to the summit via the Daang Castilla Trail. Traversing dusty footpaths, an option on horseback is also provided. Along the way, volcanic vents show proof of the volcano's continued activity. Seeing the interior lake within the summit, one may easily forget the dangerous beauty of Taal. Classified as a high-risk area and a permanent danger zone, sampling the warm sulfuric inner waters of the interior volcanic lake is prohibited. Still, the ability for guests to learn and experience this stunning view is hard to resist. Taal Volcano is a uniquely diverse habitat, ranked among the country's key biodiversity areas for protection. Due to the singularity of its geological formation, 
it has allowed for nature to display its remarkable ability to adapt. Amid the harshness of the environment, a unique ecosystem still manages to thrive. The giant trevally, locally called the Maliputo, is one such example. These giant trevally are saltwater fish that live in the open seas, but spawn in brackish waters. From Balayan Bay, they swim up the shallow Pansipit River and instantly adapt to the freshwater environment in Ta'am. Yet among the aquatic life that thrive in the rich waters of Ta'am, it is the Tawilis that bears the aquatic distinction Ta'am Lake deserves. The only known freshwater sardine in the world, the Tawilis is endemic to Ta'am Lake. Its origins are rooted to the very formation of Ta'al Lake, and questions about its evolution provide a glimpse into Ta'al's seismic reshaping. Today, it is only the Pansipit River along the town of San Nicolas that acts as the drainage outlet connecting Ta'al Lake to Balayan Bay. Guests can take a cruise along the river spanning 9 kilometers long. after which they can opt to visit the bird sanctuary or return to Volcano Island. Perhaps the most enviable view of the Al Lake is one that only our winged friends can reveal. The serenity of the Al Lake has drawn bird species to call it home. A host of rare Philippine endemic species and an immense number of wild migratory birds flock to the lake. With its outstanding natural features, the Al Volcano Protected Landscape stands as a natural monument in need of continued care and conservation. For those seeking more activities, the Taal Volcano Protected Landscape won't fail to disappoint. Mount Makulot or Makulod at Cuenca is an exceptional climb for adventurers. At 930 meters above sea level, it's the second highest point in the province and offers a view of the lake unlike any. A historical walk through the ruins of the old Ta'al church may also add more depth to Ta'al's history. It marks the story of the communities that persisted near the volcano. Get to experience the local brand of hospitality by visiting the adjacent towns of Taal, Alitagtan, Santa Teresita, Agoncillo, and Laurel. But if local culture is what you're after most, then let guides teach you how to grab the catch of the day and add an experience of recreational fishing. There is also kayaking, and relaxing tours by private houseboat. As the night sets in, guests have options to seek rest and relaxation before another day of exciting activities. A stay at the many local inns surrounding the lake provide comfortable lodging for the night. But for those seeking a down-to-earth experience, then a night at the Ta'al Lake Conservation Center in Mataas Nakahoy is where you should head to first. The place is a wonderfully organic experience. Up to stay in the treehouse or in one of their huts, or sleep comfortably in the open air. With a team of local tourist officers to assist you, the stay shares the unique brand of Batangas hospitality. 
but one thing remains the most important character of TVPL. Its balanced relationship with local residents. The Ta'al Volcano Protected Landscape continues to flourish in large part due to the cooperation of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources DENR, the Protected Area Management Board PAMBI, the local government units, and the local and business communities within and around the protected area. To date, the fishing industry in Ta'al remains the primary source of income for the towns within the area, but through their cooperation, they are able to form the essential components that keep the balance between TVPL's natural beauty and its potential for economic progress. Our uh, protected area is about 62,292.14 hectares and uh, about uh, 22,000 of which is covered by water or the Ta'al Lake. One of our functions to, uh, to maintain or to regulate that number of uh, fish cages in the lake to attain that uh, carrying capacity and also other uh, fishing activities uh, that is against the uh, URRF. For our guests, we hope that they will not leave their garbages and waste there because uh, we want them to help us preserve the beauty of that place because the Taal Volcano is, is there for us to share. And also we make sure that uh, no permanent structures are being erected there in the island so that uh, the, the beauty of nature will be preserved. With their plan in action, the vision is to possess clean water and surroundings cared for by its citizens who are happy and economically secure, relying on the productive resources and able management of the basin. A goal best achieved when all who come to Ta'al Lake recognize their role and benefit in this process.